Here's another example of research done in this area which most people know about, the placebo effect. You go to the doctor, you have a headache, the doctor tells you, here I have a pill for you, the best thing just came out recently, will help you get over the headache. Gives you the pill, you get over the headache, unbeknownst to you, what she gave you was a sugar pill. But because you thought, because you believed that it will help your headache, it actually did help your headache. Real phenomenon in medicine. So Herbert Benson, from across the river, from the medical school here, has done a lot of research in this area. Let me share with you just two of his studies. What Benson did was bring in women who, had, who were pregnant and who had stomach problems, were vomiting, they were throwing up, they were nauseous, something which is relatively common, especially in the, the first trimester of pregnancy. So he brought them in and told them, I have this new pill for you that will help you overcome your stomach distress. You won't throw up anymore after this. It's a very powerful and good pill. So he gave them that pill, and they got over their stomach distress. They were better. They didn't know, of course, that this was just a placebo drug, just a sugar pill. But then he took it a step further, brought in another group of women with the exact same stomach distress, with the same vomiting, gave them a pill he told them would help them overcome their stomach distress. Only this time, instead of a sugar pill, he actually gave them small dosage, not dangerous, but a small dosage of Ipecac. Now, those of you who know what Ipecac is, it's a drug that we take if we want to throw up. So if we have food poisoning, we take this drug and it will actually elicit vomiting. So he gave him this drug, and again, this passed all the, um, the ethical reviews and, and was not dangerous. You know. But that's what he did. And these women were told that they'd get better. And they did get better. Not only did they not vomit, as they should have done more so with the Ipecac, they actually stopped. Let me read you an excerpt from his book, which I highly recommend, Timeless Healing. I quote, Remarkably, the patient's nausea and vomiting ceased entirely, and their stomach contractions, as measured through the balloons, returned to normal. Because they believed they received anti-nausea medicine, the women reversed the proven action of a powerful drug. Even though many of us stock our medicine cabinets and first aid kids with Ipecac to bring about vomiting in case of poisoning, these pregnant women with documented stomach distress thwarted the action of a drug that should have made them even sicker. With beliefs alone, they cured themselves. Now, this doesn't mean that drugs don't have an effect. You know, I don't recommend going home now and, you know, giving your roommate, you know, Ipecac or even worse, cyanide and telling them this is actually vitamin C. They will probably not feel better or healthier as a result. But what this experiment does, so, does and many others like it show, is the powerful effect of the mind, which we shouldn't discard. We need to study and understand. Or here's another experiment that Benson writes about in his book. This was done in Japan. So... People who were allergic to a specific plant were brought into a lab, had their eyes closed, and then they had this plant touch their forearm. And then they had another plant touch their other forearm, and they didn't know which was which. And of course, the plant that they were allergic to, the arm flared up. They were allergic to it afterward, after all. But then, there was a second condition. These people were told that the actual drug that they were allergic to touched their left hand. And another, another plant that they were not allergic to touched their right hand. But Benson reversed the effect. So actually the plant that they were allergic to touched their right hand, the plant that they were not allergic to touched their left hand. So they were supposed to flare up on the right, not on the left. But because they believed that their allergic plant was on the left, their left hand flared up, their right hand did not. 
based on the power of the mind. Once again, this does not mean that the external doesn't matter and that we attract everything that we want to into our lives. But it does mean that the mind plays a very important role in creating our physical, certainly emotional, cognitive, as well as external reality. Beliefs very often